everybody, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to another edition of PTR, Plain Tech Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing some iPad apps for you on my iPad. So, uh, enjoy. Alright guys, so the first app I'm going to be reviewing is the AIM Free for iPad. Many of you who have iPad Touches are familiar with this app as being almost a necessity because many people have AIM, it's very popular and it's very uh, compatible with the iPod Touch and iPad. So. All right, as it's, you can kind of see here, you have shows you the active IMs on the side. If you click up here, it will bring you to your buddy list and it just kind of pops down right there. You can uh, scroll, scroll through that. All right, let's just pick, uh, I don't know, someone. Click on someone, they come up, the keyboard comes up. You can also turn it this way for the full keyboard. And it's a nice big keyboard, it's an iPad, so get a nice big screen. Flip the back, it'll flip this way. Pretty sure it will flip this way too. Yep. Yeah, so this is a nice little app. It's a nice, it's free from the app store. Not many iPad apps are free, so. Um, this is a good app to have. It's uh, very easy to work with, and it's just, um, it's a good app. All right guys, so this next app here is an app called Kobo. And this is, um, many of you are familiar with e-reading. You know, Amazon has the Kindle, if you're familiar with Barnes and Noble bookstores, I think they have the, um, oh god, uh, I don't know what it's called, but I, I know they have an e-reading device too. This is just an e-reading app. It, um, I'm not sure if we bought these apps, bought these books, sorry. Um, I, didn't use, I don't use this app, someone else in my family does, but it's a good app. Uh, as you can see, it has like a bookshelf here. Um, you can select a book, it will bring you to the book. Uh, shows you right here the preparers note. You can select table of contents. Oh, sorry. All right. If you can see that there, the table of contents. You can select a chapter and it will bring you there. Um, if you go back, you can go back to the shelf. Uh, another cool thing is if you select I'm reading, it will show you the two books that you are currently have been reading or are well, yeah, books you have been reading. <laughs> All right. So um. There's also the store part here. You go to the store, you can buy new books for your bookshelf and stuff. So um, I know Apple, I think they come with one that's for free. It's like iBook or something, but I mean, this is, I think this might be a little better. It's uh, really good. I have used it a couple times. So um, yeah, that's Kobo. All right, guys. So this app is called Zinio. Zinio is a really, really cool app, I think. Um, it's actually an app, and it gives you a whole bunch of feature articles from magazines. Like here, you see Eminem. Uh, if you guys are fans of Eminem, you know that he came back from some tough times, and now he's doing well again. Um, show National Geographic, The Economist. It's just all like really top magazine articles, stuff like um, stuff like that. That you could just it has them all here, and you could just click on them like this, and it will bring you to this article. And you can read it. Shows you some pictures. And it gives you the article. So um this is just a it's a really, really handy app if you um hold on one sec. If you go back here, there's a library you can make a Zinio account and you can shop featured articles and shop magazines, I think. Yep, you, yeah, but you need to make a Zinio account for that. But I mean, other than that, even if you don't want to make a Zinio account, it gives you all these really cool feature articles that you can just look at and read. For magazines, if you're a big magazine reader, but you don't have the money to subscribe to like a million different magazines, you can just find some nice top articles here. And that, that's what's really cool about Zinio. All right, guys, the last app I'm going to be reviewing today is an app called Pottery. Pottery is so fun. I don't... I know I'm a guy and it sounds a little weird, but it's just, it's insanely fun. Um, yeah, I'll just show you some what you can do. You go to create here. You can adjust the like size of a pot that you want to make. Adjust the width. Make it wider. You can make it smaller. You can change the color, change the material. And um, it's really cool because once you fire it, Oh, let's wait a second for it to fire. Um, once you like fire it like this and stuff, and you create, you add colors and designs to the pot, you can actually sell it to like a virtual auction. 
and even though it's virtual and it's not real, like, it really, like, they'll buy your thing for a certain price and it just makes you want to make a better pot so you can sell it more and just, it's weird, but it's just something that's really addicting. Like, all right, I'll just say this ready. I know it's not good, but you bring it here, you click sell, and it brings you to this virtual auction right here where they look at your pot and they're like, oh, all right, we're going to buy it for six, six coins. And if you make really good pots, you can buy it, for, they buy it for hundreds of coins and there's it's really, 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 really fun, and uh, I think that was a good app to uh, finish my review on. Well, guys, thanks for watching another edition of PTR Plan Tech Review. Um, this has been an iPad app review, so um, there will be much more to come. Rate, comment, subscribe, and friends, I don't care. Anything, I uh, love you guys, love your support. So um, keep watching, and uh, stay tuned.